<laughs> to start with, would you mind telling the launch control community a little bit more about yourself, what you do and everything? Um, yeah, basically we are, we mainly focus on wholesaling, um, fix and flips. Occasionally we're based out of uh, South Carolina and I've really enjoyed the texting platform. We've been using it um, for several months now after transitioning from another um, service and I've really enjoyed it, enjoyed the tech support and the, and the help and assistance getting up and running. So we personally, I've loved it. The peace of mind it gives me um, on a daily basis, knowing that our message is getting out is huge for us. So um, that's probably what I've enjoyed most with it. Wow. Great to hear that. And yes, definitely the support here is something we pride ourselves in. It's really yeah. the best you'll get, <laughs> the best yeah. I've ever worked with, to be honest. So I'm glad that they're being recognized here. So what led you to launch, launch Control in the first place? How did you end up with us? Uh, we actually used Launch Control when we first got started or in the earlier stages several mm -hmm. years ago. And um, I can't remember, but just transitioned away from it, used another service. And there were just lots of issues with uh, just every other week there was a roadblock. We had to kind of stop our texting operations and figure out how to fix it and get it back. So um, just look back in launch control, connected with one of the sales guys, and he kind of ran me through the process, kind of pitched it again. And um, it seemed like it would alleviate a lot of the issues we were having. So that's what kind of got us back into using launch. And it's been great since then. Great to hear that. When you say it's been great, I hope you mean the deals you've been closing on launch control. Yeah, we've been we've been getting a lot more quality conversations which have led to um, some good opportunities for us to close. So. All right. In general, what kind of impact did launch control have in your business? Um, I think on a weekly basis, it just provides better quality, you know, conversations that at the end of the day that we can help homeowners. Um, just more steady leads coming in. It helps us mm -hmm. keep the managed and in a good pipeline we can see and, and use. Great to hear that. Nice. I, I mean, I'm always delighted to hear uh, the clients like you having accounts like this perform that well. And I'm really sure that after today, it's going to be even better. Looking forward to our next call, by the way, to, to yeah. confirm everything we, we talked about today. I appreciate your help for sure. No problem. Anytime. Well, regarding that, while we'll well, we're still at the deals, would you mind just walking us through a recent deal you had? In regard to a recent deal? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, just we have. Break it all down. Tell us about it, how it went. Yeah, so let me um, pull it right here. So basically, we had a uh, a text lead came across. It was in our local market. And from talking with him, he had obviously been approached by other investors at different points in time, but we actually hit him at the right time. He wanted to talk with us and ended up getting it under contract um, and assigning it. Mm -hmm. I think it was about a 285 ARV. And we got it under contract for 140, ended up assigning it um, for 45K. So that's good. The investor partner we partnered with got a great deal with some equity. Um, we had a great you know assignment fee on it. The seller was happy. So all around is a good one. And it came straight from it was one of our first um, deals we got after transitioning from the old service to launch. So within the first few weeks, we had a, a conversation with the guy and um you know, recently got it closed. So that was a good one. Wonderful. Really, really great to hear that. And yeah, I mean, as we, as we, if we were speaking a little bit ago, key here with this platform and every other, of course, key thing in your business in general is following up, never giving up, keeping, keeping consistent throughout all the texts, all non-replier, non-repliers, everything there, right? Yeah. So what about your follow-up efforts? Could you maybe elaborate on that a little bit more, the launch control? Um, well, honestly, I learned a lot more today about how we can be <laughs> better at follow-up. Um, but we try to teach everybody on the team to always be responding, always be calling, you know, really preaching, get on the phone. You know, someone could respond back, whatever degree of their response is, like pick up the phone and call them. So we try to do a good job at calling folks, staying on the the manual text responses and now learning from today, we're going to do a better job at our follow-up campaigns, 
and implementing the drips campaigns a lot more efficiently. So I wouldn't say we're doing a lot right, but we are going to be moving forward, changing some things, how we do it. Well, of course, you're doing a lot of things right. I can, I can confirm that, but I'm looking forward to the future results as well. So since you, you seem to, to be pretty good at all of this, do you perhaps have any either launch control or general investment hacks that you would like to share with everyone? Um, no, not really. Nothing, nothing new under the sun. We're just, you know, swinging the bat and staying on the phones every day, being consistent. So nothing. That's something. No. <laughs> believe it or not, you wouldn't believe how many. Yeah, you wouldn't believe how many, uh, how many of your colleagues don't really have the results that you do, only for not being consistent enough. So this is a really big one there. Um, okay. Keeping consistent is the way to go. The only way to to get the results that probably you expect or everyone else expects to to have with not only launch control but every every other platform. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that's um, that's that pretty much sums it up. Before I let you go, do you have any last words of wisdom <laughs> for no? I, for I, appreciate, I appreciate your time and appreciate your help, and I'm um, really thankful for the service we get provided. So, no problem, Chris. Whenever you have any questions or need any help, you know where to reach out. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you too. Have a wonderful rest of the day, and talk to you soon. You too. Appreciate it. All right.